Everybody, let's get into some constructions. Um, so we're going to do this a little differently. Instead of going through every problem, since these constructions are basically the same motions every time, I think we're going to go through maybe about two per page. We'll go ahead and show you like the, we'll provide the, the answer key for all of them. But really demonstrations, I think we need to limit just for a couple. I think that's, that'll be just fine. So we're going to do a copying a segment and copying an angle together on this video. It's really just about tracking distances. And so whenever you copy a segment, it's really akin to copying the distance between two points. And so, of course, we're going to need our copying tool, our compass, to do that. Um, essentially, once you set a compass width, you're tracking a distance and locking it in so you can move it and use it in some other place. Like That's actually the purpose and utility of a compass. Um, we use a circle because a circle notes a distance in all directions. But in the end, it's really just about taking a distance and moving it. So if I want to copy this distance AB, using your compass, we'll set it out to AB. And now I have that distance kind of wherever I want it. Um, since I want to make a copy, it looks like I've provided you an A prime starting point. We'll just re repin it at A prime. Um, you can use a whole circle if you'd like. I'm just going to use a partial arc here because I know I just need one other point B. It doesn't matter where in the circle you take point B um, because the distance by the compass um, using a circle means it's going to be that same distance in all directions. And so I'm just going to kind of choose a point B prime here. Now, I'm going to use my electronic tools, but you would have to grab a compass and, I'm um, sorry, a straight edge. Oh, that didn't work out. What happened there? Electronic tool? Okay, try that again. There it goes. Okay, so use your straight edge to connect those pieces, um, but in the end, that's going to be uh, copying a segment. And so you can definitely rewind that and watch that again. Okay. We'll wait for the next one. Um, but since it's exact copy, we know these pieces are congruent. And so we know that AB as a segment is congruent to A prime, B prime as a segment. Okay. And that's just like icing on the cake, kind of following that part up. All right, let's do the next one down. Okay. So here we have another segment AB. We have a starting point A prime, which means it's ready to copy. And so we just have to kind of grab this distance with our compass. Pretty darn close to the last one. Looks like it's a little bit longer, though. So now we have the AB distance locked in. We're going to pin it at A because we took our distance from A. And again, we're going to start with just by making an arc. You can go the whole circle if you'd like, as I said before, but an arc's enough because it contains an infinite set of points. I just need one of them. Um, as long as it's the same distance, it doesn't matter which way it's facing. And so I'll call that A prime, B prime. And there's the bell in the way, so like, we're going to have to pause for a second. Good morning announcements. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish these uh, finish these last two constructions yeah, while it's happening, and then we'll pick it back up with an angle bisector here in a minute. National Gratitude Day. Did you know that having an attitude of gratitude is good for you? Being thankful results in physical, emotional, and many other types of benefits. For example, practicing thankfulness improves sleep, lowers stress levels, and boosts the immune system. These are your morning announcements. Congratulations to the 11 students who made the Northeast All District Choir. In the 19th century choir are Don Murray, Natalia Riddell Santiago, and Gabriela Story. Joining the 11th and 12th grade choir are Michaela Morris, Jessalyn Tridley, Lucy Goldberg, Alexis Lander, Xavier Heron, Colton O'Neill, and Taylor Harbor. Mr. Hercules also reminds juniors and seniors to see him as they're preparing for all state choir editions. Congratulations to everybody. Watch Fred Media today from 4 05 to 5 p.m. at H214. Last year's edition is in the Spark Mail. The Teen Outreach Program, also known as TOP, meets today from 4 to 10 to 5 10 in the Makerspace in the Media Center. Zoom dance class today with Coach Destiny. This week's theme is Be Happy, Dance Happy. 
kind of goes with our gratitude attitude today, huh? The 2023 yearbooks are on sale now, or before January 15th for only $45. Find a link in the Spark Mail, or send to Fort Myers an email for more information. Are you 17 and a half? If so, have you registered to vote? Voter registration day is next Tuesday, September 28th, and you can register using the link in the Spark Mail. Do your civic duty and sign up to be a registered voter. The DHS Theater Department has partnered with Nothing But Cakes to raise money for Encore Drama Club and International Festival Society. Ms. Ariza and select club members will be selling these cakes until Friday, September 24th. Battle cheerleaders are raising money to purchase these uniforms with the Adopt a Box fundraiser. Choose a box on my poster and pay the value posted in that box. Find a cheerleader today and help support those who support you. The cast has been selected for Cat TV Can Musical. Performances will be November 19th through the 21st, and there is a special performance during the fourth block on November 19th. After school study hall starts today, come to the Adam Room G207 after school and stay as long as you want. Or up until 545, whichever comes first. You do not need to sign up prior to coming, but there will be a sign up sheet when you arrive. This is also an excellent opportunity for all the day plus students to get hours as well. Battle of CA invites all athletes, coaches, and friends to free breakfast in G113 on Friday at 815 a.m. If you're interested in attending the Mid Mo College Fair on October 6th, please see Ms. Tyler in the Catholic office to register. The college fair is held at Columbia College this year, and you will be bus over and back for the event. Attention all the ADS students interested in wrestling. Wrestling free season will be open back on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the off gym. Come out and start learning the sport and to get ready for our winter season. Email Coach Mester or stop by F215 with any questions. Don't forget that there's no school tomorrow, but if you sign up for the ACT 101 workshop, you still need to set your alarm. Please stand and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are glad you're here. It's a great day to be a part of Hey guys, uh, sorry about the internet the, the announcements. Obviously, we're doing this here at school. Um, so you saw me that demonstrate copying the angle there kind of silently. So let me go through all the steps on the next one um, so you kind of get a sense of it. All right, so we really just have three points that we have to copy. Um, we have a X point at the vertex. We have a Z point that occurs kind of on one of the legs. And then we have a X point on the other. And so it's not really the lines we're copying here. It's really the points. And so using logic, if I'm just going to copy the X over, it doesn't matter where I copy it. I'm just going to choose a spot called X prime because it's just a location. Copying out to Z is a little tougher. Um, I have to replicate the distance using my compass. And so I'll pin it at X and I'll run the compass out to Z. Um, but compasses transfer distances and it locates distances using circles. And so we'll take this, this compass with the lock distance and we'll move it over to X prime. We're going to use a small arc because just like copying a segment before, um, it doesn't matter where on the big circle ends up, it just has to be on the distance somewhere, therefore on the circle somewhere. And so that's going to be my Z prime. Okay, then we can of course connect these to make this part of the line. If you want to extend it and make it a ray or a line or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just more, more uh, worried about the spacing. To find this last point x, this is where it kind of gets a little tough. Um, and the reason it's tough is because it's not just copying a line, but it's copying distances. And so really there's two distances to copy. I have to copy this one from the purple point uh, y. I think that's y instead of x. I think I just spoke there earlier. I should actually be a y. My handwriting is bad. It's y prime. Okay. Um, so we've got to copy that distance from the y. But we also have to copy this distance from the z. It takes two points, two distances, excuse me, to locate one point in space. And so that's why I'm, I'm going to actually need two circles and not one. Allow me to demonstrate. So I'm going to need this point, I'm sorry, this distance from y up here to x. Ooh, pretty close. Just kind of guessed at it. Um, I'm going to take that and transfer it over to my y point. And I'm going to make a generous arc because I don't know where on the circle is going to end up, but I know it's going to be somewhere on that circle. I'm going to repeat the process for z, right? So I'm going to grab the z distance, run that out to the x. Okay? And so even though there's not like a line there on the angle, it's still a distance between two points that I'm going to have to copy. So I'll grab my compass, move it over to my z point, because that's where I took my original measurement. Um, and then I'll give it an arc as well. Okay? 
Now, I, I, I kind of missed, so I'm going to come over here and actually grab this point again, back to the X, because my arc wasn't big enough. That happens sometimes. Okay. Okay. And then I'll re-copy that arc. What we're looking for is an intersection point. The reason it's an intersection point is because it needs to respect those two distances, one from the purple Y and one from the green X. And where are those meet? That should be my new point, in this case, X prime. So I'll, I'll follow up with a straight edge. Okay. And there we have our copied angle. So just like before, uh, when Ms. Aguilar was reading the announcements, um, we should make kind of a final statement here. And the final statement is that they're congruent. And so I should have the same number of arcs on both angles. I'm going to increase it to 2. And we can say that angle X prime from Y prime to Z prime is congruent to angle X, Y, Z, the original. Okay. Um, and that is copying an angle. And so all the, all the rest of these are going to kind of follow the same suit, um, where I'm going to pick a single point, copy a single point. Like in this particular case, I'll just copy A to say like right here, A prime. Okay. I'll find one distance, and that should be easy at the bottom. Uh, but then to find like the next point is going to need two. Right. Flip that around. Okay, so if I want to find like, the end point, I'll measure A to N using my compass. Okay. Shift that over to A prime. Okay, and I'll make an arc. So on that arc, anywhere, lies the point N, in this case N prime, to A prime. Okay, and so I've replicated the distance between these two points, and since orientation doesn't matter, one distance is enough. Um, finding the point, right, excuse me, finding point C is going to be more difficult, because I have to take the AC distance, but I also have to take the NC distance, and where those circles intersect is where I'm going to find my C prime point. And again, allow me to demonstrate. So, I'll pin it at A. Rotate my compass until it matches the C distance. I'll take that AC distance, starting at A, of course, and I'll make an arc. I know it's somewhere on the arc, but I won't know exactly where until I take the second distance and C. Okay, so I had the NC distance. So starting at N, I'll pin it, make an arc, and where those intersect is going to be my uh, C prime point. Why is it that going to be my C prime point? Because, because at that intersection, it respects both the distance from A and the distance from N, thus creating my angle. Okay. Final declared statement, make sure arcing these the same way, looks like two and two. And so we have angle NAC, congruent to angle N prime, A prime, C prime. Okay, so we're going to stop the video there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up so you have it for your key, um, but it's going to use the exact same steps. Ergo, I feel like we don't necessarily need to have that one on camera, right? So we'll pick it back up for parallel, uh, perpendicular bisectors, I believe. See you then.